it looks like it might make me sick. Hello and welcome to another edition of Korean Eats. Uh, this is the special being on the train edition. I'm on my way to Busan with uh, Rich and Noah and we have decided to get some food on the go. And since we were in a rush to get our train, the KTX, that goes all the way from Seoul to Busan in less than three hours, I just grabbed the first thing I saw and that was quite conveniently kimbap. I bought a special kind of kimbap, described as mother's love kimbap. As you can see there it says mother's love. What it actually says in Korean is on my kimbap and I think that must just mean like kimbap made by my mother <laughs> or something like that. So I'm gonna give that a go. So let's open up this packaging of this uh, on my kimbap. So it's just got a nice little arrow there. Explain how it works. Oh, there it is. Sort of kind of falling out. Look at that. Uh, you can't go wrong with a bit of this on my kimbap. I'm not entirely sure what's in here. Genuinely had no idea. And it looks like... So, it looks like we got some crab meat in there. And it smells like chicken. But it looks like uncooked chicken. There's definitely some radish. A bit of onion, garlic, carrot, and possibly spinach. Um, but it smells nice. Uh, so what's the worst that could happen? Oh, also omelette, of course, as usual. Let's uh, have a go. I can feel chicken. <laughs> Here's another slice of kimbap. We've got a big chunk of omelet in there. Nice little bit of crab meat and some more unidentified gunk. Looks like it might make me sick, but... Very tasty. I do like this uh, little picture they provide here of the mother who made this. I believe they actually personalise every single packet, depending on which mother it was. It does mention something about putting it in a microwave, but I'm sure it's fine. They wouldn't serve this stuff for needed to be cooked, right? Only four more pieces left of this delicious kimbap. We're currently traveling at 264 kilometers per hour. 265. If that train was going at 265 kilometers per hour, and we're going at 265 kilometers per hour. When will we reach the Emperor? Busan, our destination, in case you don't know, is one of the major port cities of South Korea. And it's also one of the places that you can get a ferry to Japan from, which is pretty fun. There is a hydrofoil that will take you to Fukuoka in Japan in about 2 hours and 55 minutes. Viewer, you will be comforted to know that there are instructions on this packet saying first unwrap it, then take off the top, and then hold it, and then eat it. So there's nothing about having to cook it first. It is definitely edible. It's all good. I've just been informed by my uh, cameraman, Noah, that the way you're meant to eat this is by pushing it up like this, and then the kimbap slice comes out the top, and then you kind of peel it off. Although this packet's a bit destroyed now, so it kind of ruins the effect. But as long as I'm eating it, I don't really care. I do love a good train journey. 
So apparently, <laughs> given that it's a port town, Busan is a very uh, good place to get delicious Korean seafood, which mostly, as I've been told, consists of live octopuses or octopi wriggling around your plate until you slip them down your throat where they eventually die in your stomach. But now it's time for dessert and I have bought myself some kiwi jelly. So you may remember the tomato jelly from before, this is slightly less weird than the tomato jelly. It does in fact say kiwi in Korean there and it's exactly the same as the English there. Kiwi. Another great bit of Konglish there for you. It is 20% kiwi puree. I guess that means puree. Let's see what it's like. <sighs> Obviously nice and hard. Not gonna come out anytime soon. And I've got my tiny little spoon. I did not remember to bring my own spoon this time. Just like last time. What a fool. Mm. This is not at all like kiwi. I've been to New Zealand, <laughs> and this is not kiwi. But it still tastes nice. So good job, Korea. We're currently travelling at 265 kilometers per hour, again. No, 264 now. While this train is capable of going at 300 kilometers per hour, I don't think that it typically does. Yeah. Only in emergencies. a little bit more left. Mm. That is some good jelly. Pretty much done now I think. And this is a poorly designed packet. I can struggling really to get the rest of this jelly out so I'm just gonna leave it there. And there you have it. Mothers love Kimba. I would highly recommend it. Look for this nice looking lady uh, if you want some mothers love Kimba. Only Chonobek 1, which is about 75 pence. And the kiwi jelly, not so bad, but I think I prefer the tomato jelly at this point. And uh, that's all for the special train edition. Thank you very much for watching, as always. See you next time on Korean